Wanafuzi, how are you? Turn to the first song, standing next to you, give them a high five. As you settle down, settle down. Tell them you must have been a beautiful baby. Even if they don't look like it right now. Let's appreciate the by the band. How many are here for the first time? Today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know to Zama Kutoka Nyumbani in the classroom edition. Are you ready, class? Do you remember those teachers walikuwa na kuja hivi? Can I see the following students in my classroom? Anatoa list. Ah, uh, Mongeli Mavoko, Steven Omondi, and of course Karioki. Joroge. Alechukua dasta haijaonekana. Come up to my classroom. You have to remember those teachers. Can you shout the name of your discipline master? Alikuwa anaitwaje? Eh? Have you ever asked yourself why there's no day mwalimu wa mathematics aliwahi kuwa mgonjwa? Eh? And all of you wale walikuwa akisema have you been waiting for uh, uh these uh, these uh, maths then there is uh, PE? Double in the afternoon, is it? Yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> uh, so the teacher uh, actually, you are doing Kiswahili. Then there is double PE, then games. Then, Unaskia, actually, uh, Nimeongea na Mwalimu Esabu, uh, Endelea. EPE, we will continue mass because we need to finish with the syllabus. Have you felt like sleeping? <laughs> Have you ever been, if you've been caught unawares to do an exam ya mathematics, na ukapata not E or D for Dondore Donke, clap once. And your teachers are seeing you. Walu walipata A in physics, clap once. B. C. D. E. And the Ah. Those are the people who are still resisting. By the way, about resisting and all this thing about Tanzania. Do you know our cows uh, uh, zilienda Tanzania, ziliruka boda. They were auctioned. Do you know that? Yes. And that's how it ended. Sasa nimekua nikijuliza. What is this that can cross to Kenya from Tanzania? We auction. Yeah? World beast. Those are ours. I was thinking the only thing that we, they export from Tanzania ni our waganga. Mgonga mashuri kutoka Simba Wanga. Hao wanafaa kukuja hapa we auction them, sindio? Leo Kenya is a country of God. I'll see you. And we're going very far as a country. You believe that? We are going through our face, but we shall be right, okay? How many believe we'll be all right as a country? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are standing here. I'm seeing Kikuyus, Luos, Rendiles, Muslims, Indians, white, everyone. And that's why today we have an amazing show. Life is about lessons in life. All right? It's about lessons in life. It's a face. Even when you're going through the most difficult time, that's when things are about to happen. When you know things are, when things are very thick, mpaka pesa zimeisha, umeachua, umefutu wakazi, that is when God is about to bless you. Did you know that? Ata saa ile mtiani imekua ngumu, enye ukiama ukusome utanguka. Lakini maybe that failing is a result why you turn out to be one of the best business people. One of the few lessons I've learned in life is you can't have everything in life. Some you get, some you lose. Some good friends you lose, some you get. And you don't have to drag everybody in life. At times, when God wants to move you to the next level, you have to tell some people, you know that, it's never that serious. I still love you, but it was a season I need to move. Some of you are just dragging friends who are just pulling you behind, behind. No, I said, no, Krishinda, why I'm not moving? The reason you're not moving is because you cannot have 10 friends and there's not, none of them you can do business with. Hello, hello. hello. My preaching here, 2018 needs to be the year that you jump. 
But right now, I want to introduce someone from, uh, from Japan. How many understand Japan because you are Kenyans? There's nothing you don't understand. We have people from Japan here. Uh -huh. How do you greet each other in Japanese? Yes, sir. How are you? 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 How are are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Let me let me tell you one thing. Has something serious. No, 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 no. Eh, eh? Now, let me no. give you an opportunity. Yes. Because you're here to introduce the comedian yes. who's coming up on stage. All right, say uh, then who is the guy? <laughs> All right. And now <laughs> Japan. Sarah! Oh, 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 So you know for Mr. Sako. Welcome, Mr. Sako. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm Sako. I'm from Japan. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking about me right now. What you see now is SGL, isn't it? Don't worry about it. I'm not that guy. <sighs> but actually, I just realized in Kenya, people who use matu matatu must be really, really rich. Because when I came to Carnival, all the way from Gidu, Gidu, Gidu. That's it, that's it, yeah. Actually, my Slay Queen said it's $500. So I paid $1,000 for her. Yeah, her name is Monica and Jerry. <laughs> and she took my money and she gave conductor a coin. <laughs> and she said, it is Kenyan $1,000 coin, which is called Mbao. Uh, but speaking of road, I just realized the reason why you guys are really good at dancing. It's because of bumpy road. Last night, I was on Bora Bora. I was like... <laughs> okay, I cannot dance. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, you guys probably think that we Asian are really good at technology, like computer, iPad, and iPhone. That's not true. Look at my face. We Asian people have big cheekbones here. So, when we use the iPhone, and when we smile, we hang up. <laughs> but actually, I know, to you guys, we old Asian look the same. Because last night, people came to me and tried to shake hand. Because they thought I was Jackie Chan. <laughs> but it's fine. Tonight, I will teach you how to tell Asian. Like, from Chinese, from Korean, from Japanese. I'm a Japanese. Konnichiwa. Arigato. So, so, the difference comes up when we cannot hear. For example, Japanese people are like, hmm? <laughs> Then Korean are like, huh? Oh. 
And then Chinese are like, huh? Huh? <laughs> are you having fun? Yes. Me too. Do you understand my English? Yes. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my English is not very good. But actually, even Prime Minister in Japan cannot speak English at all. 15 years ago, Bill Clinton, American president, came to Japan. So our ex-Prime Minister, Mr. Mori, had to talk to him in English. But he didn't know how. So he asked his translator. And translator said, okay, that's very easy. All you have to say is, how are you? And Bill Clinton will answer, I'm fine, thank you, and you? So you can answer bravely, me too. So how are you? And me too, that's it. And Maury said, okay, I can do it. And he went in front of Clinton and forgot everything. <laughs> Who are you? He asked. <laughs> Clinton got surprised, what? Don't you know me? I'm the president of the United States. Wait, wait, wait. It must be Japanese joke. So, it's my turn. And he answered, I'm Hilali's husband. So, Mori answered bravely, Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay. This is my biggest ending. Thank you very much. Coming up after the break. <laughs> This is a story, a story about an event. This is the first time this thing is happening in Africa. An event that changed our lives. All right. A story that began with a dream. By the way, I'm so like you. And one filled with laughter, joy. sometimes tears. 40 years on and the journey continues. Friday, November 24th at the KICC. Churchill turns 40. Baba, show your love for one and only man Ganka. Hey. Yes. Mambo Nairobi. Mambo time is two. Kama umeanga karibu na mrembo na unasota mwambie haki ya Mungu ingekuwa tisembo ungenitambua. Eh? Unajua kuna wale watu wengine Kuna watu wengine wana wanaudi sana. Wewe ume sacrifice time yako ukapatia mukale lift. Gari ni yako yeye hana gari. Umembea lift. Mungu mnaenda tu mnaendelea na safari. Ako kwa gari yako lakini ana sifu magari ingine yenye inawapita. Anakwambia kipito? Hmm. Unaitwa V8 ni 7000 cc. Hiyo gari mafuta yake wanasatumia kwa hii gari yako kama car wash. Unazika mwagala na mwuliza, hmm, so yu gare ni noma kushinda hii. Ai! Hii gare yako nye mwagipita kwa maji unainue miguu na hugo ndani. Haa, wewe unasema nini, wewe unasema nini. Hei, kuna vitu ngini ya minafanyikanga. Umewai shikuwa na polisi, alafu bati mbae wea kufika Central Police Station simu imezima. So inabidu uombe wa siye simu yake, ndo upigie relative akuja kutoe. Wambili yanga meshikuwa juzi. Umewai biga uda kuingine tamu kitumia simu ya OCS Mbaka anakupea fea uwendo nyumbani Unasikia wambili yanga hako tu wameshikwa Anambia OCS nye bro Mimi simu yangu imeisha moto Na pesa yangu likuwa kwa simu huko na chacha OCS anamuambia pana sina chacha Lakini simu yangu hiko na credit Tumii simu yangu pigia watu wako wakucha kutoe hapa 
Unasema mwambili anga meka uso chini anachukua simu. Alo timina. Uko karibu na pipili hapo. E, fungua mwanzo. E, enda kwa ile chapter ya wife inheritance. Eh wa Mimi nakwambia timi na nikupaya. Mimi nilikuwa nimekaa tu kivanji kwa ile kiti imeandikwa don't just sit here do something. Ai. Kumbe pepa pak imekuja ikachichikilia kwa mshipi yangu. Ah 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 ah. Sasa nikatembea hata unashangaa mbona watu wananiangalia. Paka nikachuliza kwani nimeshinda jackpot. Eh bana, kumbe nilikuwa pepe pa kimechikilia kwa mkongo huku. Eh wanauliza 4 million. Eh sasa kama 4 liters ya mama time na imetushinda kulipa ndaweza 4 million. Hapana mtoto yangu hezi nisaitia. Haki time na wewe kuja tu. Eh mtoto yangu alifukuzwa Sunday school. Eh alikuwa kwa drama club alikuwa na act ile role ya Musa kwa Biblia. Eh sasa walikuwa wamefanya tu vizuri na pastor wamefanya practice ikafika Sunday wakamwambia Musa Musa toa viatu vyako mahali umesimama ni patakatifu. Eh kijana wangu akakataa kutoa viatu. Eh ataliambia na tio viatu yake wanatumia kuchota changa hapo watu wangelala kwa kanisa. Hapana hiyo ilikuwa last week. Eh si unajua mama yake anafanya anausanga kiteri kwa mchengo. Eh alikuwa amepelekea majamaa mchengo kiteri. Sasa kumbe hiyo ndio alikuwa anapepea kiteri ilikuwa imetopoka. Eh sasa alikuwa anaenda akimwaka supu kwa parapara. Eh si mtoto wangu amelamba lami kilomita sita. Eh Hapana ndugu yangu hawezi nisaidia. <laughs> eh na juu alikuwa amemtuma, si alikuwa amekuja na pesa hapa kwa police station. Hapana hata amewekwa ndani. <laughs> alikuja hapa na akasema atiandaa kuona wanjibi. <laughs> eh osiesa katani amesema wanjigi. Hapana <laughs> Thank you that was my time. Sana sana, settle down, settle down. Thank you. Wapi makofi ya Gormai ya Kogalo? Shabu kwanza hongera sana kukujiamini na kushinda 2017. Ah, sante sana. Sport Pesa KPL Championship, ilikuwa je? Ah, ilikuwa ngumu. Yeah. Lakini kwa kuo watu likuwa tunajiamini. Yeah. Tumetoka wa shindi kisalia game H5. Wow. Tumetangazu wa shindi. There's a big game that is... They've won... They've won... The Premier League before watches the game panel. What do you say? Maybe if I could talk to the speak to the coach Kidogo at Rambia, what was how the league was and how difficult it was. Let's appreciate coach Wakormaya at what DK. Uh -huh. uh, the season. Uh, I've only been here four months, and I, I thank the chairman for bringing me to this country because yeah. this country is amazing. Right. The people, the culture, the everything about it is 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 just a dream. And uh, I, I have to say thank you to my players uh, because it's, it's them what's won the league. They've done all the hard work. They've put the graft. And uh, I can only thank the supporters for supporting my players. For, uh, where's my players? Where's the players? Can you oh, stand up, guys? Are there. My players can you stand up, guys? Guys, guys coffee, stand, up. stand up. Stand up, guys. There's the guys who won the league for Kogalo. Uh -huh. And on behalf... 
on behalf of the the players and the technical team, right? I would ra- I'd like to present you with this signed Kogalo ball. Ah, Santa San. And it's entirely up to you guys what you want to do with the balls. Ah, Santa San. Nataka mutu wa najiamini a lady anaweza pepeta hii ball. What's your name? Unaitwaje? Janice. Janice. Uh-huh. Jo jo jo. Aha. Aha. Aha, ni nani ameshinda? Kuja hapa. Wangapi wanasema ni huyu? Waitwaje? Cherry. Cherry. Na wewe waitwaje? Na wewe waitwaje? Janis. Nani ameshinda? Eh? Wangapi wanasema ni ja Cherry? Wangapi wanasema ni Jan? Ah, come over for your gift, basi. Karibu. Come coaches. Hand over to him. Hand over to her. Amejiamini naweza kushindia ball imesainiwa na Gormaya. Gormaya, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Show your love for Maskari wetu wa hapa hivi kwenye hiki kipindi. The River Rockers. and still on forward march excuses given by high school kids in Karen for coming late good morning students good morning on. you guys are late today why yes. are you late today i was setting an exam for Sarai high school what about you why are you late today i was just late you're just late what about you why are you late i had a class okay guys i'm going to punish you i'm sorry i must punish you guys okay sure. you're going to, for an exchange program in germany and guess what there won't be no pocket money Go to class. Uh, that's so fair. I will sue you, Molemo. Go to class. Left, right, left, right. Bread execu- excuses given in Akayole School. <laughs> jambo, jambo. Nafunzi? Uh, uh, yeah. Mbona mmechelewa leo? Nilikuwa na kesi na fida kwa bibi yangu wa subuhi. Hai? <laughs> Wewe ni mzazi? Eh. Yeah. Aya, wazazi wata wakuja huku nataka kudili na wanafunzi. Hala, nini wote ni wana uh, wazazi? Yes. Ah, uh, mbona umechelewa? Mimi nilikuwa nimeenda maandamano sababu <laughs> nilikuwa nafikiria issue letu iko listed kwa boycott. Kwa <laughs> kaenda maandamano. Wewe umechelewa kwa nini? Ah, uh, mimi bibi yangu anaenda sleep over na kifunguu, so ndio ya kumngoja asubuhi ya kama. Wewe mbona umechelewa? Ulishikwa asubuhi. Ulishikwa asubuhi? Yes. Makosa gani? Nilikuwa mlevi. <laughs> Ulikuwa mlevi? Yes. Ah enda hapo kwa staff room nimebakisha kakuota utoe lock. <laughs> lift right, lift right, lift right and change. Bread how bread how radio presenters from abroad handle relationship issues. Yeah 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 and you're listening to this radio this early in the morning that was Jay-Z and Kanye West. Yeah, yeah, well, we have a call on the line. We, we have, have a call, call on the, the line. line. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hi. Hey, how are you? Uh this is June. Oh, uh, from where? From Texas. Texas in the building, baby. Yeah. The building, rapping Texas. What's yeah. your problem? So, guys, I'm calling because I haven't seen my husband in like three weeks. Just imagine three weeks. What? Yeah. That's crazy, man. What? You had a fight or something? Yeah, we had issues. Oh no. Then. I apparently don't know what to do. In fact, really? in fact, let let us just connect her directly. Okay, so yeah. that you saw this once and for all. We want to connect you with someone who is more experienced. Is that okay? Oh, okay. All right, that's fine, man. Left, right, left, right. Bread, how Kenyan radio presenters handle relationship issues. Good morning. Karibu katika kipindi cha leo. Ah uh, KBT monge KBT tunaona amesema Ako Jogo Road. Mm-hmm. Uh, anasema jam inapeleka na pole pole. I think road pia tunaona punda imesimama kwa barabara. Kuweni careful, be careful drivers, be careful. Okay, be careful guys, be careful guys. Uh, nah, yeah, there's a call on the line, there's a call on the line. Hello? Hello, habari gani? Ma mzuri. Uko na shida gani? Ah uh, niko na shida ya nini? Niko na shida kwa ndoa. Uko na? Niko na shida. Ah, uh, speaking <laughs> of problems, you are here to solve all your all of your problems. We have a land in Kamulu. 100 times 200 acres 
It is the best piece of land you'll ever And have. remember, this land is only 200,000. Come next month, but one, it will be 2 million. Unasemaje? Ah, nikwambia na bibi yangu alinisukuma nikanika nikangua kwa meza. Tukiongelea meza, guys, we are selling tables for an very affordable price. Mahogany. Sida gani rafiki? Sida gani? Sasa huo bibi nikamwacha. Sasa siku hizi napenda ndogo ndogo sana. Oh yes, unapenda ndogo ndogo siku hizi? Eh. So uko na side chicks. Ndio hiyo sasa. Na uko na kama wangapi hivi? Ah, sasa hizi niko na moja, sasa hizi na kuna mwingine wa 9. Ah, na uko na nyumba unapeleka wapi hao side chicks? Ah, si kawaida tu ni kwa lodge, eh? <coughs> oh, ah, sasa ah. utaongea na secretary wetu hapa. Ah, secretary? Eh, yeah, wewe. Pini ndogo ndogo. Ongea na secretary wetu hapo. Baby, baby, yani mimi unanicheza nimekungoja kwa nyumba hii saa yote, uko na ndogo ndogo kwa nyumba. Hata crypt yangu imeshinda pika baadaye. <laughs> Coming up after the break. Kwani umekula homework? Jumia Black Friday is coming up on the 13th of November to 13th of December. Great deals over 1000 brand zitakuwa pale and make sure you go online on www.jumia.co.ke and you could also be the lucky winner that get two golden tickets in your Jumia package giving you access to an exclusive Jumia Black Friday launch concert featuring Saudi Soul atame nitakuwa hapo welcome to Jumia Black Friday <laughs> are you ready for MC Atrike yeah. are you sure you're ready for MC Atrike Wapi nisikie nduru na shangwe kwa one comedian top party top street hatin One and only MCA Trekke DJ Kata Kata Me boycott ka namba unapiga nini ya Yoki ya mazako mambie triki sana Young boy Eta pare Small pare Eh Leo menifanya ni amini mtu anayaza mea ndevu kwa magoti Hizi ni vitu gani unavaa hapa? Wala. Hati huyu sasa ni mtoto wa shule. Saji umejivanya mtoto nani babako? Baba. Hona huyu. Si mama hapa. Hati mtoto wa shule. Harafu uko na kitambi. Kwani umekula homework? Kuja, coach mama hapa. Kuja hapa. Yo kia mwana wambia tiriki sana? Tiriki sana! Shukwai box! Eka pare! Pare pa, pare ivo! Apo! Apo tu! I want you to think outside the box! Ya hindi yo maishi ya mtu wa tatu wa shule! Swari number one! Siripas ni mbiri, moja inaito haji Kasa ya, nipeki boko Elda wakusaidie, siripas ni ngapi? Moja inaito haji, mutu wa nitafukie nya unyo Hile Kina atirizi tumefika shure Ankoa yuko hapa tunayeza mutiskas Niko tushua ankoa kuenda shure Unajua ye ni ndi headmaster leo Wapi Unajua unayeza jua mutu walienda shure Aha Ukiangalia angwa hivi unaweza tujua Juhu masomo inafaa kwa enirite ni mke Sini ukweli Mtole higine Ayuko tumtole ati anko Ati Ati anko Ati imagine sasa ako shashiri Akeenda shure School of Comedy Ako hivi na box yake hivi Anafika hapo kwa shule, anapata kwanza headmaster ni Mr. Bean. Anafu class teacher ni DJ CT. I gotta go. At least that way ungesoma. Chachiri angesoma, junior atakuwa blackboard. Mwana ini ukweli? Ayuko tu mudiska asidio? Chachiri blackboard. Nakuwa musicheke blackboard. Bahati yake tu wamejiajiri. Angekua wamejiriwa, kazi ingekua kufutuwa futo tu. Yo kia mwazako wambia tiriki sana. Wabinduri MC Atreke! Toka hapa. 
Ati oro mtoto wa shule. Ah, tabia mba ona kama hii box. I, tumeyokota tao. Sisi na hakina biondo ni hakina nani tukaipata. Lakini ukipata kitu ya mtu ameacha usiiguze kwanza. Ndio box kama hii ndio mlikuwa mnapeleka shuleni nayo. Mamako anakufanyia shopping vizuri, anakupagia vitu mamako anakupenda. Unaenda shuleni nayo. Unaenda unaiweka vizuri. Halafu kutoka ije kurudi unakuja unapata kinyangalika fulani kiliamua kushake watu wa mama gave you. <laughs> Unafungua box, unapata sabuni iliingia kwa kidhiri. Najuu kuna kwa kana nja bodi inabidi unakula hiyo githeri ndio na safi. Mama sebi ya school tukapata box hivi. Kufungua hivi. Kwanza ilikuwa imewekwa kufuri. Pianto naye ni nani? Yeye ndio haka wetu. Kakata kufuri. Kufungua ndani kumbe hata hiyo nyang'o ilikuwa imefungia ki ndani. Ni pepe ya kwanza ilikuwa imeandikwa taikoto maski. Kwa gari hapo hiyo kwa box ndani kitu ya kwanza Pianto anakuwa amecravea ni uniform. Na kuambia Pianto akata akapatana na Jesse saa hii. Anaweza mnyang'anya hiyo uniform. Pianto kitu yote imevaa uniform hata kama ni ajera. Anataka kuiwatch tu. Hapo hivyo tao kuna wale watu wa jeshi la wokovu wanavanga uniform Sunday. So Pianto siku moja ameenda akangoja wakianza ku match. Akakaa tu hapa kwa barabara ana nice venue ana match. Wao wanakuja hivi wakimatch vizuri. Wanaenda mbiguni. Akafanya mistake akawisuri. Wote wakaangalia hivi. Sunday kageuka mashujadi. Pia toka meturia hapa kama kakeateka president tu, ana watch tu. Kana pena uniform, kana taka tu, siku igini kama ingia supermarket, kakipiga maraondi, school uniform dio hii, alakara kaka change, kaka toizo guwechafu, kaka kuwa vizuri kama jesi, alafu kaka toke hapo inje kwa counter hivi. Express, haka kuangeresha hawa tu wakulipwa. Kufika hapa kana simamisho na mbakara wati, wosu jimbo na unaripa, Kakarudi hapa kakauliza huyu mtu, "Hii si ni sare." Huyo <laughs> mtu akamake mistake akaambia, "Eh, ni sare." Alafu Yo kwa sababu ya mbiti ringi sana. Asante sana. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing six times Dove Award winner Don Moy, show your love. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Moy, let's go. We'll make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways. We cannot see, He will make a way for me, He will be my guide, hold me closely to His side, with love and strength for each new day, He will make a way, He will make a way. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Moen, what do you say, Nairobi? You. Welcome right here. Thank you. We got here a small pia piano uh -oh. keyboard, not a grand piano. Feel free to play it. <laughs> Karibu sana. By now you know Karibu sana. Welcome to Kenya. Yeah. Asante sana. Asante sana. <laughs> All right. Amen. It is good to be back in Kenya. They gave you a Maasai uh, shuka. They did. Yeah. Did they give you, you, a, you saw the picture? I saw the picture. It was amazing. Yeah. And thou they, we had several thousand people looking at it. So yeah. uh, beautiful. Did they give you a Kenyan name? Not yet. Do you want one? Yes. Kupatia <laughs> Jinagani. Yeah. Ati. Yeah. Kamau. They say. they say we call you Kamau. Kamau? Yeah, Kamau. Don, Don, Kamau. Don, Don in Kenya means someone with a lot of money. Really? Yeah, someone very blessed. Don, where were you Don? May it all, may it all come to pass. <laughs> Jesus name. Yeah. Hey, it's the Japanese guy who came with this. <laughs> I, 
I, I've been to Japan. Yeah, how was it? It was, uh, they told me before I sang that don't expect the Japanese people to sing with you. So they said they will not stand, yeah. they will sit, and they'll listen, and they'll be very quiet. So I was in Tokyo, yeah. and I went up to begin to sing, and by the time I was on the second word of my first song, yeah. everybody stood and sang every word in English, except for the promoters who were sitting on the front row going, Yes. Now today, Don, we talking about it was a school edition today, celebrating back then uh, when we were in school. Now, when you were in school, high school, I believe, um, were you still this gifted? Were you singing in school? Oh no. How was your high school life? No, no, no. I, I did play the violin. That was my major instrument. So I studied classically. Uh, my mother made all of us. There's I have an older brother and two younger sisters. They made us. She made us take six years of piano. Then I told my mother, I hate piano. I don't want to play. And uh, she said, Donnie, you wear the clothes we provide for you. You eat the food we provide for you. You sleep in the bed we provide for you. You will play the piano. So I determined that if I ever grew up, got married and had children, I would never abuse my children like that. Well, <laughs> L Laura and I have five children, right? and every one of them have heard the same speech, yeah. <laughs> and they've all had to take six years of piano. Right. Yeah. Do they play piano? Yes. Everyone plays. All my children. They had to, they because had to. I provided the food they ate. <laughs> <I prov> yeah. <laughs> they slept in the bed. I, mean, I need to try that at home. Yeah. Uh, all right, and now, now, now you talked about Laura, and I know it's been a journey. You could just share with us about the journey you've taken with, with Laura, your, your wife. Yeah. Um, first of all, you, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. Uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, I know you went through a divorce, and Laura is your second wife. No, no, no. Laura is my one and only wife for 44 years. <laughs> and yeah, 44 years. So uh, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. Um, I, I heard that I died last year too. I heard that. I also died. Yeah, did you hear that too? <laughs> For example, I, I, I had the, 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 the test that God put you before you got your, your child. The patience that you took a while before getting your, your child. How long was that? Oh gosh, uh, Laura and I were married 12 years before we had any children. And we didn't think we could have children. Uh, we went through all the tests, all this stuff. And it was just in our families would, I would, was, I would always ask us, are you, when are you, is Laura pregnant? When are you gonna get a baby? And what they didn't know was we really were trying to find out what was wrong. And all privately we went to the tests. And, and I didn't want people to think Don and Laura are so unhappy. If they don't have children, they'll never be happy. But we were very happy, but we both felt we wanted to have children. And, um, and then after 12 years, wow, we had a girl. And then we had a boy. And then we had a girl. Then we had a boy. And then we had another boy. And, uh, you had to stop. In fact, well, we, I didn't do anything different before or after. And I, I even delivered my fourth child on the bathroom floor. He came so fast. Um, thank God I wasn't alone. My five-year-old and four-year-old were right there with me. <laughs> I said, I don't know if I can say this on TV, I said to Laura, the baby's head is coming out, what should I do? And she said, catch it. <laughs> Did you catch it? <laughs> I caught it and... Um, and I saved six thousand dollars in, right in medical. On his birth certificate, it says the attending physician is Don Moen. <laughs> very few. Let's appreciate Don, man. A very yeah. few men can do that. <laughs> what moves you in life? What what gives? What's your? What do you feel God has purposed in your life to do in this life? What keeps I, you moving? I want you know the one thing I want to do is uh, number one, I want to serve God with all my heart. I want to be a good husband, and I want to be a good daddy to my children. Uh, apart from that, uh, my career is music. I, I never intended to go after this. Uh, the doors kind of opened, 
I became a producer and a songwriter, and one thing le- led to another, and, and before you know it, I'm, I'm kind of an artist, although I never went after that. But I, I realize that God has given me a platform, and I want to use that platform to help build an atmosphere that allows people to connect with a living God. And you know what? If the devil could divide us and conquer us, he will. And we need to be aware that he's trying to pull us apart. Let's not let that happen. God is worthy of our praise. God's word will stand forever. Jesus loves us. And we should love each other. It's just, I'm, I'm a simple guy. Let's come together with this simple truth. So, uh, yeah. Which song are you doing? Well, the final song. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I been through. Use it for your glory. And Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life. Let's appreciate Don Moen, the legend. You know, unajua vile chachi la mfanya hiyo interview hapa na Don Moen, it was so nice. Nika imagine Don Moen amekaa hapa, Kwambili Yanga amekaa hapa. Wanaulizwa the same same question. So uh, uh, Mr. Don Moen, kindly tell us how did you begin your uh, your music career? Nasikia Don Moen ako, uh, okay. It was in 1971 when I was still a young boy. I used to sing in the church choir and uh, The rest is history. Yes! To you, my sister. How did you begin your music? That's Umewailia kwa matanga paka ma relative wanashangaa we ni nani? Mimi yake amungu nilitoa dada yangu niliimba kwa matanga ya Andron. Wa. Sije wailia hivyo. Nililia yake amungu paka hakuna mtu ananikonvote. Karibu maiti isimame ikuje in hack ndo ni nyamaza. 